Oh, I have a vacuum made out of oysters. <laughs> top quality, top quality stuff you right here. A, uh, you have a what out of what? What? I, I, I have a vacuum made out of oysters. Okay. A vacuum made out of oysters? Hold on, I got a one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're good. Keep on going. Okay. Yes. <laughs> anyway. He Eat, eat, Welcome eat. any and all viewers, or what viewers on the YouTube upload. I'm very awkward right now because I'm nervous because I'm gonna stream the campaign. We're, we're... Welcome to the first session of Externa University. Okay, so because you're talking about plant or oysters and shit, something came to mind. My cousin's what? getting a hat, a trucker hat that says jam out with your clam out. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> oh my god, the thing. Anyway, she's great. <laughs> anyway, jam out with your clam out, dude. So, uh, we're going to be doing the first session of external university set within the action system, a system I've been developing for a rough, just under a decade now. So, yeah, I'm very bad at leading introductions to things. Um. Let's just hop right into it. Bro, I got chicken nuggies from Cookout. Oh, uh, do you guys want to introduce yourselves, by the way? Not really, no. Alright then. I, 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 I'm Dexter Collins. Well, I mean, oh, I thought your we were, actual I thought name. We doing like, uh, yeah, I I'm we were Dexter doing like... Collins. That's all I remember, dude. No, I mean re I mean, <laughs> Sleepy. I don't mean your character. Sleepy. Dexter goddamn Collins. I don't mean your character. I don't know why I woke up in the fucking, like... Oh, the two were great. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't know so, Things made sound. <laughs> yeah, so hang on. For context... I, ha I gave them very little information on their characters, so they're going in very much blind for this setting, because that is the intent. <laughs> you guys are My both- name is Dexter Collins. You guys are both I'm watching the stream, right? Yeah. I'm using my art- I'm, My quality I... is ass, give me a sec. Who is running porn? <laughs> I couldn't- I had to laugh. I hope this it's looks better. okay. Oh, oh. See. Um. As we open up, let's just zoom in here. But yeah, uh, can, can you guys actually introduce yourselves, though? I am Dexter Collins. Sleepy, please. I am Dexter goddamn Collins. This is Sleepy, he's sir. playing right. Dexter Collins. Stop interrogating me, okay? I told you I don't know who I am. Sleepy's just like a giant obnoxious pillow. God, you're a dickhead. Zed, do you want to introduce I'm yourself? Zed, I love you. I, hi, I'm Zed, and I'm furry. I love every time you're on anything I record, that's how you introduce yourself. A furry, hi, first I'm and Zed. foremost. Well, th this, th like, like, haters can, like, leave their messages I'm gay furry. at their I'm door. Gay furry. Zed, if I'm you really furry. just want to describe who you are stereotypical stereotypical gay that's a nice decent furry looking for a hey, very hey, hey. large friendly sundere man large that's muscle wise yeah you want he wants muscles not the stick he already tried it didn't work out <laughs> for him he wants the muscle <laughs> Hi, I'm Zed, and I, I'm, I'm. <laughs> He's gonna play Ismo. Ismo, how's it pronounced? I'm, I'm gonna follow you home and freaking shove sea urchins under your bed. I see how you like that. I mean, I'm pretty sure the sea urchins won't like that. They don't have any fucking water, dude. It's like a desert down there. Well, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, my character's name is Izumo. Izumo. That's how it's pronounced. Okay. You've got the weeb name, I've got the boring name. Then again, I was going for a really generic person. Yes, and together we will... What's your what's your power again? Oh, don't worry about that. Oh, don't worry about it? So, 
as we open up, uh, we're all right. <clears throat> yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't have any kind of music lined up because I'm afraid of copyright claims muting audio on this, like it did with a couple of my art streams. So, hold on. Let me. Let me. I gotta. I gotta boot up some music for me. Okay. You're good. No, you can uh, keep on talking, but as you stop. Uh. I can form words. <laughs> Uh, you are so you are awoken to what sound or to the sound of a bell ringing, not a shrill not a shrill bell, but a long gonging bell in the distance. Six chimes. It, you slowly start to come to, light seeping in through through or seeping in between the curtains on the window. Uh. There. As you look at your surroundings, it, it looks akin to a dorm room, essentially. Two bunk beds, uh, two bunk beds, four desks, and a, uh, a, or two tall dressers. Uh, you do not remember how you got here. Or where here is. As you slowly start to sit up, a squirrely young man looks to be about 21, 22 ish. He has short, uh, short brown hair. He's standing up uh, from, or sitting up from his bed, wearing just a pair of black pants, like, like jogger pants. And has he? Looks over, like, he slowly sits up and then looks over and sees you two. Fuck! Fuck, fuck, oh god, fuck, new be oh fuck! And he starts getting up and, like, look looking around for a moment as he, like, scrambles Bro. and puts on- uh, start like, Bro, throws a button-up shirt on. Is that- wait, are you saying that in-game? Yeah, I'm like, Bro, bro, what the fuck, are you alright? <laughs> no concern for your own situation. Wait, what'd you say? You you woke up here with no memory of where you are or how you got here. Or where here I know. is. Are I you? Know. But yeah. He, he But yeah, he continues like scrambling, try like throwing on a button shirt button up shirt and he's like, Of course I get fuck giving fucking new people. Oh god. What? Uh you are on the top bunk of the bunk bed, sleepy. Or I should say Dexter. Good. Where I belong. I'm gonna look down and be like, bro. What? Where am I? Uh, meanwhile, what are you doing, Izumo, in reaction to what's happening? Izumo. I'm gonna, like, look around and just gonna be like, where? Uh, like, actual bird call sound? Yes, I'm gonna specifically make the noise. Where? Yeah. You hear that come from the bed below you. Uh, I'm Dexter. Is there a fucking bird in here? I'm gonna look up at you. Uh, I want to describe your appearance. Your guys' appearances. Uh, uh you go okay. first, Sleepy. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. So, my character has red hair. He's a redhead, okay. Alright. Oh, no. Uh, I didn't think this through. I just knew he had red hair. There we go. <laughs> He's got red hair and blue eyes. I'm going classic anime boy, okay? I'm going classic anime nice. pro tag. Red hair, blue eyes. I don't know who this dude is, and therefore I'm going to use his image. Listen I, to you all. Did you just pull up a, like, a random... <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, I don't think I'm going to show on stream. His... I'm not going to show random yeah. uh, artwork from unknown sources on stream. That's fair. Let me see if I can find some. I don't want to steal art. Well, oh, well, you can yeah, you can just describe it. We don't need pictures. Yeah, so he's got yeah. red hair, uh, you know, sort of messy tassel, tousled, tousled, tasseled, tousled. It's fucked up. He's got bed hair, uh, with blue eyes and you know a black shirt. He's fucking classic anime pro tag. Okay. Mhm. Mm and now you describe your character, uh, Izumo. I, I'm, I'm. 
an anthropomorphic crow with like a pair of wings on the back and like slightly normal people hands. Ooh. And like, what, the what do you mean? That, what, what, what do you mean? There's a bird, and and then I'm. Is there a mirror in here? Uh no. I'm just gonna like look down at my body. I'm just gonna be like, ah, ah. What, what are these? <laughs> I'm gonna like, and I'm gonna feather and just uncover this covered section. Oh yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, and carry on. But yes, yeah, so oh, you're no. immediately freaking out. Uh, what the... Wait a minute. Where am I? Who am uh, I? I have no idea. Who are when? you? What are you? You're a goddamn bird. Who are you? You're... Listen, re just relax, oh, you two. Man. What? <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, <laughs> the color bad makes my animal instincts think you're... evil. Will you two just relax? God fucking, why do I have to be given new people? God fucking, uh... And you, what the fuck are you hmm. talking about? Uh, hold on. He throws uh, some clothing, at, like, folded up nice... Like, he opens up the dresser at the foot of your guys' bed... Uh, and he just start like throws out like full outfits at you guys. You're gonna want to get dressed. Ugh, shit. Uh, he runs his hands through his hair. Fuck. Hold on. Wait. Where'd I put it? And he goes shuffle like rummaging through his desk, and he pulls out a book. Uh, that is like small purple booklet with that the symbol that is on should be on stream right now on it. On the front. I posted it in text chat previously. The Externa oh. University. Oh, okay. But yeah, he, he like... I don't know what it means. He pulls that out, out and is like... You're... God. You're new here. There's probably means there's an orientation going on soon. He flips through for a moment and then he shows you... A page with the map on it. Uh, you guys might experience some slight stream delay, but I've got it on uh, screen right now. He like shows that to you, and he po uh, he points towards the section that's uh, labeled as theater. And he's like, "You're gonna want to head there. We're in the dormitories of uh, the dormitories of Bearwing." I. What the <sighs> fuck is that? Barely? I just see dormitories on this map, dude. It's, uh, uh should, I don't know, after a moment of lag, you should see the whole map. But he's like, I know this is confusing. I. <sighs> this is Externa University. Everybody shows up here the way you did. Did someone kidnap me and. Turn me into a bird. Hmm. Why? I'm gonna continue plucking feathers out. Hmm. You don't remember always being like that? He looks at you for a moment, and like lowering the book. I'm gonna be like, uh, I guess I've heard a few cases of people it. not re realizing it. Oh no, some people I'm wake up. Bird? Everybody wakes up with varying degrees of memory. Yeah, uh, just try to follow what you're told to do, blend in, and don't stir up any trouble. I, God, I hope I don't have to explain too much to you. I hate, I hate having to explain things to people. Hey, random dude, I don't remember shit besides my name. Yeah. Like I said, just head to the theater. Uh, he uh, points can you at. Take us okay. there, perhaps. I. Uh, all right. With that, I'm gonna zoom in on just one corner. So, if you look at the map on stream, you you immediately realize the entire university is mirrored for like four ways across the axis. You know. Mm. So I'm just gonna zoom in on one corner. 
Okay. Okay. But yeah. He, um... He's like, I... Yeah, I guess my class... I'm not gonna miss it. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna... Blah, blah, sorry, let me reword that. He thinks for a moment, looks at the time, he's like, Yeah, I should still be able to get breakfast. Alright, come on. Get dressed. In the uniform. And he starts, like... He... Starts putting on his uniform. The uniform is, uh, black dress pants, a, like, nice yellow, like, fitted coat with a button-up shirt on- or not yellow, uh, purple. Purple fitted coat with a button-up shirt underneath and a yellow tie. That sounds flashy. Like, the purples and yellows, uh, here. So the shirt- the- Well, I guess it wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, the shirt is purple and the tie is yellow. And then the pants are black. Ooh, okay, I can work with this. I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of yellow, but I can run with it. Hmm. Yeah, he uh, he gets on the uniform and he's waiting. Like he's standing by the door, basically tapping his foot, waiting for you guys to get yours on. Mm-hmm. So, like, do mine have like you know, slots for you know, uh, wings? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Mine just normal. Your uniforms are perfectly <laughs> fitted, as if somebody had taken full measurements. Like, it's like a fitted suit. That's I hope creepy. I didn't get touched while I was asleep. Do you say that? Yeah, I say that. <laughs> Here, hang on. Both of you for, uh, you for that joke, and Zed, you for the just overall funny introduction. These coins here are the... Inspiration, karma, luck, fortune, whatever you want to call it of this system. They're wow. the... Uh, oop, I'm on the wrong layer. These can be... You guys already know what these can be spent for. Uh, I'm not going into detail explaining the mechanics of the system. Because uh, you guys know how everything works already. Mm-hmm. People viewing will sort of be able to pick up on things over time. You know, get an explanation somewhere. Yeah, if you want explanations, you have to buy the system whenever I start selling it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's funny. Whenever that may end up being. In 20 years from now. I hope it's not a 30 year development cycle ahead of me. Oh. Anyway, the, um. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, gonna be like, okay, I got my things on. Uh, I'm gonna hmm. look to Dex and be like, uh, are you? What'd you say? I I asked I asked Dexter if he was ready. Um, yeah, I guess as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> so oh, right, when right. I'm looking around and shit, Ollie, do I notice anything? Uh, oh. Uh, how so? How so? Did we just, I th- did we did we talk about this? Are you trying? Uh, to, are you trying to like examine it? Uh, anything in particular for just general lay of the room, looking around it? Like I said, yeah, I'm just trying to look around my room and you know see what it looks like. Two bunk beds either end, uh, two desks, two dressers. Like the room is basically symmetrical down the middle, with a, a window that you can you can actually see out the window. Uh. All right. You from the window, you can basically see looking out. Eh, see more dorms out the window. You're basically looking across like one of these quads here. Uh, again, okay. slight stream delay, but in between two of the the dormitory rooms or buildings. Uh-huh. Is there? I wanna I want, before we leave. I wanna quickly look through the drawers and stuff and see if there's anything. Of uh, the desk or the dresser. Both. As you start looking through the the drawers of the desk, it's worth mentioning that uh, by the desk there's what appears to be two leather satchels. And um, as you start looking inside, you can see there's like various textbooks, papers, notebooks, pens, pencils, like lots of office supplies and like a bunch. Or, uh, or no, there aren't any textbooks. There's just a bunch of like notepads, journals, folders, paper, uh, like. Pens, pencils, paper clips, rubber bands, erasers, like office supplies. A fuck ton. Okay. okay. Um 
if you want to examine it closer, you would have to, like, specifically, like, I could do a roll, but you'd have to ask me to. Uh, no, I think I'm good. Alright. Uh, and meanwhile, the dresser, as you start looking there, it's just a fuck ton of the uniform, and, uh, also what looks like workout-type clothes and, um, like, swim trunks. You just see. Like, uh, and, uh, just a bunch of outfits, and you notice, like, the ones in the upper two drawer, or the upper three drawers of the dresser, all seem to be about fitted for you, and the lower three drawers all have big holes in the back. Hmm. Guess I know who this goes to. Hmm. Will you hurry up? I, want, I don't want to miss breakfast, and I just... God, why do I have to be given new people? Like, yes, I'm the only one in the room, but why do I have to be given the new people? I don't like this. Uh, um, yes, I'm so sorry to be an absolute burden on you, guy. Look, I'm sorry, I just... Don't... I... have had a stressful month, to say the least. Well, let's get a move on so that you can drop us off and be stressful by yourself. Oh, okay, that... <laughs> I'm bad at, uh. It's fine, let's go. He starts to step out, and do both of you follow? Yes. As you guys can start- I, Can I- hmm? Can I see if I know how to use my wings? Yes, you instinctively know how to use your wings. Cool, I'm gonna like- Okay, maybe I shouldn't fly, I don't wanna get in trouble. Yeah, you're in like, a narrow hallway. <laughs> yeah, I'd bonk my head and like- because your flight oh, no. is you're not like flying like a hummingbird where you can hover you're like perpetual movement kind of flying like birds have yeah yeah like most other birds um so as you start like you guys start walking down the halls and you can see that there's other people you know shuffling out of the halls some look like you know are walking like totally like everything is fine but every now and again you do notice one who seems just as like bewildered as you guys but not often and as you're walking the guy you're with he's like uh, uh, sorry for the weird introduction uh i'm joshua he like sort of gives sort of like a light wave like like uh, an awkward gesture of greeting you know what i mean he's like uh, i'm joshua hey <sighs> There's gonna be orientation, but like I said, I'm. Uh, there are. This is Externa University. People just sort of wake up here. Everybody here is a little weird. He, he as he says that, you like see a person walking out of one of the rooms with like frog legs. Like they look like a normal person, but their legs are bent like frogs' legs. Oh, <laughs> and they're walking on that. So many ways. Hmm. We all are. We all are. We're all. Everybody here is a little different. And we all just sort of woke up here one day. Some people have more memories than others. Sorry, what did you, you say? Are there like teachers and stuff? Yeah, uh, staff. From what I understand, a lot of them were. Students here previously. They don't say much beyond um, that. Um. So if some of them were students here. And that means this place is old. Hmm. hmm. I mean, it certainly seems that way from the just a lot of the buildings. It looks old. <laughs> but like people just sort of wake up here, and we go to classes and learn and uh, before you get even think about it don't try and leave he uh oh yeah i when you i just uh, thought about this sorry when he went through the uh drawers you would have found a book like the one he had pulled from his desk you would have found two mm. sleepy i found two of what to, like, you know the book that I mentioned he pulled out that had the map in it? Oh, okay. Would you have taken one of those with you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He says, um, basic, and 
Now, you're probably going to think to do the first thing a lot of people think to do and don't even try. He uh, opens up and like shows the map again. He's like, the whole facility has some sort of walls around it and you're not allowed near them. From what I understand, there's people that patrol it and anybody who go who gets too close, well, don't come back. Hmm. I I'd, I'd like to keep my tail feather. Cool. Oh. That's why we're not doing that. that. Mm hmm. Hmm. I just think of it like a normal university, other than the whole don't know how you got here or can't leave bit. Um, you're uh. Yeah, at this point, you guys have started been like walking through the halls for a bit, going downstairs, and then now emerging out in the middle, uh, uh to the left of the dormitories. Actually, hang on, let me turn off the labels. There we go. You guys are exiting through the small door in the on the middle of the. Er, you're in the bottom leftmost dormitory, exiting through. Hold on. Actually, let me quickly get you, guys. Two pictures. Okay. Uh, um, just that you have a map in front of you without me having to move around the thing as much. All right. So here is a. Again, I'm only sending you pictures of one corner with the labels and now one without. The whole entire, if you look at the map, you can see the entire facility is sort of like symmetrical. Right. Hmm. Uh, do, yeah, and there's one without the labels. So you're coming out the bottom left dormitory. Out the left side of it. The the whole building is like brickwork. Like old fashioned brickwork. Um, mm -hmm. And immediately in front of you. There's the. Uh, uh, words. The theater. Which is like. Um, I'm trying to think of how to describe the art. Th for the architecture. Think like very much like Boston. Like New England style. Old fashioned architecture. Lots of columns and brickwork and like what like white highlights and accents on things. Like Victorian or no? Not Victorian. Like um, again like late eighteen hundreds. Like colonial America brickwork. You know. Okay. Like, I guess yeah, sort of late eighteen like like mid to late eighteen hundreds style structures. Um, but yeah, you emerge out and start, he starts like, or as he gets out, he points over to, in front of the theater, there's, um, you know those outdoor, like, theaters that, like, sink into the ground made from concrete? Right, yeah. It's one of those, like, sunk into the ground, like, he points towards it and he says, hmm. uh, he says, uh, just go and try and take a seat over there. That's where they, uh, they, uh, that's where they'll be doing the orientation for everyone. Well, everyone knew. Alright. Well, okie then. And... Well, uh... Go ahead. What were you gonna say? Well, looks like we're gonna learn about why we're here from here. And hopefully I learn why I'm a bird. So, do you guys start heading in that direction? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, how yeah, you start? start what? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna kind of examine, uh, the the theater a bit more. All right. Uh, I'll do that in a second. I was just gonna say, as you guys start walking up in that direction, he's still walking alongside of you, and it's that awkward moment where he sort of already did the goodbye, but then you're both walking in the same direction. <laughs> um, and, um, so, uh, 
You gotta go this direction uh, too. The cafeteria's farther past the 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 the, the, the statue. And as he says that right here in this little area here is a statue of a bear that is several meters tall, like a good like 20 meters tall, the statue. Wow, it's the bird that can't fly. A, and it isn't a bird either. It's a bear. Wow. The bird quadrant's the one next to ours. He points off to the uh, right uh, like to your guys's right meaning over here wait our symbol is like a bear hmm. yeah the so. he points to the again the logo the whole academy's in four quadrants each with their own mascot the bear the crow the squid and man the man is he really called the man because he looks like a knight it's just it's just called well it's called a human, actually. Wait. Why? I'm, I'm gonna look down at my, like, hands. I'm just gonna be like, Am I a crow bear? I placed here for a reason. <laughs> I'm a crow bear. <laughs> Why? I'm gonna, like, feel on top of my head gonna... for, like, little bear ears. I'm just gonna just give you another. Happen. Another token. <laughs> Hi, I'm a bird right now. I'm gonna eat an oyster. Um. But yeah, he um. You wanted to examine. Sleepy. Yeah. And this is when we reveal. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, your ability analyze. Uh, so, let me just go ahead, uh, intuition observation, okay, so, sorry, just doing the roll real fast. Oh, you're good. As you look at the theater, you can see that the whole thing is in, it's clearly made from concrete, you know? Uh, it was all, ba it looks like it was all molded out in one piece. Not just the theater, but leading up to the walkway, and even the statue of the bear looks to be concrete. All one large structure, essentially. Hey, uh, hey, what was your name again? Uh, Joshua. You said that everybody here was a little weird, right? Y yeah. Is there someone that can, like... Make a massive molds? What do you mean? Well, all of this is seems to be like made out of one thing. Uh what do you like from the theater to the to the to the statue? Like it all is made out of like a one I guess connected piece of concrete? I don't know. I mean, can't you, like, smooth over cracks in concrete to make it look smooth? Well, yeah, but there's always, like, you can, I can tell at least, you can always tell that there's, uh, that, that, that was done a little bit at a time. This was, like, done in one piece. Huh. Oh, no. I, he sort of, like, rubs the back of his neck. He's like, I guess, uh. There could be someone that can do something like that. I mean, there's a lot of people. Like, our quadrant well, alone has, like, 2,000 students. Oh, jeez. What? A lot of people are here. Wait, how long How long has this university been around? I don't know. You could always huh. try and check the library or ask somebody, but I don't think you can get a, straight, a better answer from anyone else. You're now, well, like, like, at the edge. Is like a master, or like a principal, a superintendent, a deacon? Hmm. There's... I mean, there's the teachers. There's no, like, principal or anything? Not that I've ever met, and I don't think I'd ever want to. Well, I do. I got questions. Just don't... Try, try not to ask too many questions. It could Why? get you in trouble. With what? 
the staff, I don't... People who poke around in too much get in trouble. Listen, just... Why? For now, keep your head down and try not to get in trouble, okay? You're now, like, standing at the edge of the outdoor theater. He's like, I'm gonna go get breakfast. We'll talk more later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what was your name again? Bobby, was it? Joshua. Joshua. God, I was thinking Daniel as the second one. I was so <laughs> off. I'm sorry. It's okay. No, I was in character. Oh, okay. He's like, uh, it's fine. I'm gonna give you another okay, token. Bye, Joshua. Um... <laughs> By the way, if you guys want to spend tokens, you have to uh, ask before you do your, like, before you have me do a roll. No. Mm. And it's a one-to-one -one conversion, one token for one, uh, die-up for an advantage, you know? Die-up. Die-up. Die, die, <gasps> die up. Excuse me. Ooh. Coffee settling. I basically just chugged a cup of coffee before we began. <laughs> Oh, yeah. But yeah, um, you notice that there's a number of other people who've been directed to, uh, the theater area. Mm -hmm. As you shuffle, and there's, an, like, a number of people look very different from each other. Like, like, a lot of them just look like people, but some of them do stand out. Some have animalistic traits, some have weirdly colored skin, or are a little bit larger, or smaller. Like, some of them have unusual Did you see, Do we have leprechauns? <laughs> there are some people that look like they could be that, uh, they could be that, yeah. In terms of height. Yo. Hey, oh. bird guy, what's your name again? Izumo. Izumo? Yo, look at all these people. <laughs> oh. Um. Hmm. This so ain't I'm not, I'm not an outlier after all. Cool. I mean, how many bird people do you see, though? None. I don't know. I, I just got it. None. Not a single bird person. You are still an outlier. <laughs> it's okay, Mr. Minority. God. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Oh, but, um... Also, I'm gonna carry this in has the same observation you did earlier... But you realize that the center of the stage seems to have a separated piece of concrete. Like it's different? Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bump a Zumo and be like, hey, there's, there's a separated piece of concrete on that stage. Someone's gonna rise through it, I bet. <laughs> I'm just gonna look at you. Like... I have a question. Can, can you even tell anything about the stage from where we are? Can he zoomo? Do you mean? I don't know. No, like, or... yeah, I guess. No, I mean, like, can you, like, really see onto the stage? Uh, when, once you're in your seats, yes. Because, like I said, okay. uh, so, the stage oh, right. is no, lower right. down. Right. Yeah, the whole area, this entire section is un below ground level. You know? It's like the whole thing sinks down with the, the top seat being on level with the grass. The top rows of seats. You know what I mean? I don't have, like, the seats drawn out because, like, I'm not hype- I'm not super detailed. One pixel is about a meter, by the way. On this map. Hmm. So th this whole, like, just your quadrant is, like, almost a mile long. You know? Hello. Okay. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Did I cut out for you, Sleepy? I know my my Discord just ate shit and died. Did you hear any of what I just said? Not a fucking clue. So, the map is about. Oh, hold on. Let me turn off the grid. There we go. One pixel is about a meter. So the whole thing, like campus, is huge. Nah. Like your just your quadrant is around a mile in length. Um. And the theater, the entire theater is sunk into the ground. So, like, the top seats in the back row are, are like, aligned with the grass field behind it. You know? Okay. And, yeah. like, okay. closer to the stage, it gets lower. And then the whole stage has, like, a top to it that's on par with the ground. So you could walk around on top of the stage, above it, essentially. Oh, so people can fall right in front of... Okay, cool. 
Yeah, so you can stand on top of it, or there's the underneath I side. I throw somebody in front of the stage from up top. Yeah. There's railing on top, but yeah, in theory, you could do that. Perfect. I'm gonna get my Tengu buddy, my little bird boy, to pick somebody up and drop them. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maybe the schoolyard bullies. Jesus. No. <laughs> but, uh, on the stage, there's already a number of what you can only assume are staff members, because they're adult- well- Everybody here is like an adult, you know, you're all like university age, but they're like older, you know, they're like in their like, like 40s, 40s and 50s, yeah. yeah. Uh, you, you're, everyone here is like 20 to 30, like, on this, like in the like seating. Um, okay. but yeah, so a number of other people are all looking, uh, looking around, like, seemingly equally confused as you, everybody who's at the, like, sat around. There's probably, like, just under a hundred people sat in the, uh, the, around the stage in various positions scattered about. A lot of them sitting in pairs of, like, two to four. Or no, more like two to three sized pairs. Um... And then, after a moment, one of the, um, adults steps up and walks toward the, uh, uh, the mic that's in the middle of stage. Mm-hmm. And they walk up to it and they're like, Welcome to, er, welcome to Extuna, er, Externa University. I'm sure you are all very confused. You have been brought here because you have the potential to be exceptional. You have the potential to stand out amongst your fellow men and women. But you, the only way you will fulfill that potential is to pass the tests that will be laid out before you here at the university. You all, you all have within your rooms a small booklet, and they pull theirs out of their co- like one out of their coat. It will have a map of the university, as well as uh, many classes, and or as well as many classes and all of the rules. Okay. You have no obligation to attend any of the classes here. You are free to learn whatever you wish at your own discretion. But keep in mind that you are not to interrupt a in-progress class. If you wish to attend a class, you have to show up as it is beginning. Uh, Every single building will contain a number of lessons flowing from beginner to expert. Every room repeating the same class at the same class at the same time, all year round. If you wish to learn one lesson, you will go to a class. Or you might go to. Or, sorry. For example, if you wish to learn one of the intermediate law lessons, you will go to the law. Uh, to to the law houses. He points to the law houses section on the map. And you will look for the room that is teaching the le- the lesson, or, or sorry, you will look for the class that you wish to learn, and you you might see that the class you are looking to learn is taught on Mondays at seven p.m., and so you will go there on a Monday at seven p.m. and learn that learn that particular lesson at that time on that day. You can reattend as many times as is needed for you to remember this lesson. But it is important for you to have a well-versed, uh, ed- uh, well-versed education. At the end of your first year, you will be given a test, which you are expected to pass. It will cover a collection of first-year uh, first information, from drama, to law, to computing, to the arts. And if you do not score a 70 or above, you will be expelled from the university. 
And on the next year, you will have to learn level two, or you have to learn all the year two information and pass a test of a, a high enough degree. All the way until your graduation upon your 30th year of the academy. You hear a number of people like murmuring to each other at him mentioning that. The 30th year? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna look at Daxter and be like. Then stay 30, right? I'm gonna raise my hand. They carry on speaking, not seeming to acknowledge the raised hand. Damn. You will not, or you will also be expected to follow all of the rules listed within the book. You will not attempt to leave school grounds. Sorry, what were you gonna say? Can I quickly flip through the rules of the book to see if there's anything about speaking during this presentation? Alright. Um, <laughs> so let's use your analyze ability, huh? Oh, yeah, I guess. Do do two. Uh, remember, you have to ask before you know the results if you want to use your tokens. Uh, yeah, I'll use one. You'll use one? Alright. Yep. So, you're literally, like, you know that thing where, like, when you're doing, like, flipbook animation? Yeah. You're doing that, scanning <laughs> over it. Okay. Now, you aren't necessarily retaining any of what you're seeing. Right. But you're looking for, like, you're not looking at everything. You're looking for a few key things to jump out to you. Mm -hmm. Um, there are rules in regards to being disruptive. And what defines being disruptive is to be determined by specific professors. Oh, that's really shitty. Like, so, certain professors might allow more levels of disruption than others, essentially. Does it say anything about punishments regarding being disruptive? There is no specification as to how you will be punished if you break rules. Siri. What? Hey, Siri. What? Flip a coin. <laughs> I, I'm gonna stand up and go, excuse me. Hmm. They, ca they continue speaking as you're doing that, and they say, um, yeah, uh, yeah, they mentioned you will be expected to follow the rules, and they're, they're like, you, uh, mm -hmm. God, what was I in the middle of saying before? You, you'll follow <laughs> all of the rules. You will not, or you will not cause trouble within the academy. You will not attempt to hmm. leave the academy. You will not damage property. Or other students without express permission. Hmm. Keep these things in mind and be sure to read the book within your uh, within your room, and you should get along perfectly fine. Hmm. Uh, so you're just standing up saying, "Excuse me," correct? Are you doing anything further? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna see how they react first. No, some of the uh, are a number of the people, like the people around you, and a number of the adults on the stage are looking in your direction. But the man speaking is just still standing there talking as if you're not doing anything. I'm gonna wave the book and go. Do you find this disruptive? Hmm. They start to tuck the <laughs> book away again. They say. <laughs> I'm sure you all have many questions. Wave me, around like a maniac. Me and the other sta staff members here will be, will be available to answer said questions here. You can come to us individually, uh, each of us individually. Or, or sorry. Uh, let me reword that. We, uh, we've made ourselves available to help answer questions. If you have any, you need simply to raise your hand and we will, someone will approach you to answer your question. And if it is seen as necessary, the question will be relayed to me for me to answer to everybody. And with that, all the other people behind him stand up and start to like shuffle to the, like off the stage. One, of the, you notice a couple of them are immediately heading in your direction. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep standing. I'm gonna raise my hand. After a moment, uh, a let me just what? scoot away from this mess real quick. <laughs> A red, a woman with like red, gray, red graying hair approaches you. Her hair all done up in a bun. It's worth mentioning they're all wearing uniforms similar to yours. Um. Oh God, I also didn't mention the uniforms have the heart symbol, uh, over your chest. The uh, but instead of it having the four way split, it's just a bear on it. You okay, know. so okay, so these are all people that are under the bear administration, I guess. I don't really yeah, know. and they like they like just walk up to you and they look, look over there like, is this uh, I believe you have a question. Has they got closer? Some of the other ones that were walking towards you turned and started moving to help others. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, do you happen to have pen and paper on you? There's pe- there's pens and papers within your uh, within your room if you need any. Oh no, I was gonna say I might you might want to write these down because I know I know this man from the point of that dude is gonna have to answer most of them. That's fine. I got a couple. Might list them off real quick. Uh, first of all, why can't we leave? What exactly is this place? Why thirty years to graduate? And what are the extent? What is the extent of the punishments that could be that could occur if you're considered disruptive, etc.? You cannot leave because nobody can leave. You are here. Uh, or you are here. In the. Uh, you will remain here as long as you need to remain here. It is a thirty a thirty year system because our education is extensive. You'll have to learn much of the art, or much of the arts, of legal systems, both current and historic. In-depth knowledge of computer programming, become, become incredibly physically fit. Learn much of historic arts and how, how to replicate them. The growth and development of various plants, or plant species. How to treat a variety of wounds, uh, wounds and sicknesses. Um, God, that's a building I was missing. I never made a specific medical education building. I, mm. You see, you also don't make, like, a mechanical one, either. That's another thing I'm missing. Uh, those can be blanketed into the sciences, I suppose. Or I could, uh, always just expand the map and <laughs> say it's always been like that. Yeah. <laughs> Man, mm-hmm. I spent so much time trying to think of, like, do I have everything I need covered? And I, like, there's two, uh, two gaps. Uh, in-depth knowledge of mechanics and science, as well as in-depth ma- knowledge of mechanics and sciences. Of course, you won't need to learn all of this. You will only need enough for a se- for a se- or you only need enough for a seventy percent passing grade. But those who get uh, those who fully pass or or those who get ninety or higher will be offered opportunities to work for the university. Okay. Um, God, what was the question? The le- so, why thirty years? years? Why can't we leave? What is this place? And as for what this place is, it's external university. Okay. Um. What are the ex? What's the extent of the punishments that can occur? Mm-hmm. It is often up to the professor. Sometimes it is merely expulsion from the class you are in. Or sometimes they will give you a task you must do for them. Something simple like... Oh, excuse me. Something simple like staying after to clean the room and prepare it for the next class or assist them in a uh, future lesson. But sometimes the punishments can be more extensive. Nothing crippling or life endangering, right? You would hope not. That is an oh, okay. Uh, I've got one more question that came to mind because you know you didn't really feel like answering my question. Uh, these questions are very specific manner. Said chose really vague answers. I'm gonna point at the bird to be like, "There's people like him. There's people." I'm gonna point at the other. You know, obvious differences, and there's people like me. <laughs> All of us aren't ordinary, correct? 
Everybody here is unique. Okay. What does that mean? What? It, it means different is things the for everybody. You're here. You are here. So you are here to be educated and reach your full potential. Why? I cannot disclose that. One more question. Two more, actually. Um, how long has External University been around? External University, as of this point in time, has had over 10 million students pass through, or pass through the academy. That was not the question. That was not the, that was not the answer to the question I asked. Just how long has it been around for? Long enough for that to occur. Specific, the specific length of time that the Academy has been around has not been properly tracked. Interesting. But every single student that passes through the Academy ha has been logged. Okay. I have one more question then. Which is? I'm gonna look around. Does everything look like it's been made out of like a mold to me? The all the buildings. The buildings are all like mason work, brickwork, but the concrete is all mm -hmm. seemingly a single solid piece. The concrete. I'm gonna point. You know the 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 statues and all of that. They're all made out of one solid piece, which is maybe not feasibly feasibly impossible, but. Still Ridiculous in proportion. How so? Did someone just do this? Why? It's all made out of one piece. Concrete's usually divided up in, you know, big slabs, things like that, and then sort of scraped together. Hmm. You can usually tell that it was different pieces put together. This is one piece. Well, perhaps you could tell if it were separate pieces. She looks at you with a smile. Maybe not all people have as keen an eye as you. Um, well, I... I don't know why I have such a keen eye. I thought I had a reason. I'm pretty sure there's a reason. Hmm. The Academy was built many years ago by... a small council of individuals... in order to seek out the best of the best, to aid humanity. I'm assuming the small council of individuals is still around if this, the individuals are different people now. Hmm. The founders are, are the founders are very closely observing the academy's progression. They're still alive? Yes. You said 10 million students have graduated. 10 million students have passed through our academy grounds. Mm. Graduated. How many people have graduated? Hmm. Well over a thousand. I'm sorry, what? Well over so a thousand. Not quite in maybe 40 to 50 years this academy's been around. Unless their graduation terms are exceedingly difficult, hmm. may also be the case. What happens if you don't graduate? I wouldn't. Uh, uh, the if you're working diligently, you won't have to worry about that. You said well over a thousand people have graduated. If there's just 2,000 people in my dorm currently, just over a thousand? It has been 30 years, but just over a thousand. Well over a thousand. Well over, yes. Well, that's not 2,000, is it? I do not have the exact numbers available to me at the moment. How long have you been here? Quite some time. 
quite some time. You I attend the academy for the full. I attend the academy for the full thirty year cycle. Yeah, yeah, you see, she's thinking for a moment. After that, I had some time off before I began working again, and I've taught for roughly fifteen years. We can break it up. Say then you didn't work for five years, fifty years. Bare minimum, this academy's been around, and only well over a thousand people have graduated. Hmm. A number of students. Ten million students passing through the ground. A large number of students attempt to, or a large number of students either fail, uh, or attempt to break rules before their graduation. Hmm. Not many people okay. can handle a 30-year education cycle. I can imagine why. <laughs> 30 years. Stuck. Cannot leave. Do you have any further questions? It sounds like a prison to me. I assure you this place is not a prison. Are there opportunities to leave with uh, the um, acceptance of the academy and they're like maybe academy regulation? What? Repeat that. Like, uh, uh, does does the academy like have systems in place to allow students to briefly go out to the world to maybe do a task, something like that, and then return? There are no out of academy to, uh, out of academy opportunities. We don't uh, have any internship programs beyond working with the teachers, um, and there is no vacation time, aside from time you choose to not to go to your classes. Hmm. And there's no days off. Every day you have a class to go to. You go to as many classes as you wish. But you need to remember that at the end of the year, you will be tested. And you, uh, if you do not pass the test, you will be expelled. So then I have a question. Is there a standard schedule for those who wish to graduate they should stick to? Hmm. Well, you could always talk to a few of your up your upperclassmen about how hard they had to work in order to pass their tests. The tests vary slightly year to year in order to stop selling of answers. I myself, I base my education cycle off of that of my high school years, dedicating a few hours every single day to my education. But then every now and again in my free time, I would do a little bit extra. Going to the the gym in order to stay fit, or reading some books. Most of my seventy percent passing grade came from literary or came from literary sources and artistic sources. See, I don't remember anything. Many fit or many students have foggy memories of their past before the academy. No, I don't Your time. I remember. My name. Your time before being an exter external university doesn't matter. For all that matters, you didn't exist until now. That's a horrifying thing to say. The past uh, is hardly important. It can't be changed. You need to worry about what's uh, ahead of you. You need to plan for your future. Okay. If you need help with your education, you could always come to me. I'd be willing to give advice and suggest courses for you, or for you in order to help ease you into things. The year one exams are always the easiest, so you'll probably have better luck passing them compared to any other. Okay. Thank you very much. What's your name again? Uh. God, hold on. Uh. 
Oh, Listen, I have a lot of names I need. I'm Miss Amora. Miss Amora. Lovely. I work I'm within the English part. department. In the English? Okay, cool. Hmm. Sorry, not English department. The literature department. We don't actually have language classes. There's no need for them. That's very fair. Okay. Well, thank you very much for uh, talking to me. Hmm. Any further questions? Uh, no, I think I'm good. What about you, Izumo? She looks over to you. Oh, uh, what do you mean by expulsion? You will I... no longer be allowed within the academy grounds. And what's outside of academy grounds? What's outside of the academy currently hardly matters. I've never met anybody post-expulsion, mm. but I've also never left the academy grounds. I'm gonna cross my arms and I'm gonna be like, all right, that's fair. Hmm. Any other questions? No, ma'am. Well, you're all free, or the two of you are free to attend any classes, uh, or any classes at your. Uh, own pace, though I would recommend getting to work as soon as you can. If you really are nervous, you could simply take today to tour the academy grounds. Many people do spend their first day doing that. Um, actually, uh, would there happen to be any classes where I could learn about, you know, being a bird? Biology? Could you point me into the direction where that would be? The science labs are just past the, the just past the computer lab. She points to the uh about three story tall building adjacent to the uh theater. Thank you. And then I'm gonna turn to Dexter and be like, Would you wanna come with me to science? Uh yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's go check it out, man. Yeah, I, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like grab your hand and I'm gonna like rush to like, the science building, but then eventually I'm gonna like slow down and I'm gonna be like, so, we really don't have a choice as to whether or not we're gonna learn. They they give us the illusion of choice, because uh, I don't like the sound of expulsion. Hello? Yeah, sorry, no, I'm just thinking. It's a little odd. Yeah. We can't leave, and if we get expelled, we do leave, but no one knows what happens to people that do leave. Which if means... Try, if you go out the beyond the school, beyond the walls, no one's ever come back. And there are people patrolling there, so... Obviously. And what is out there? Why are we all here? This is a little odd. If there's a bunch of people like you and me, I don't even know what I can do. You were obviously a bird, dude. Yeah, well, being a bird, I'm not that special, but, you know, it's I mean, something. Look, but I'm a guy that can, that, I'm a guy. I don't even know what I can do. Well, I guess for now, hmm. the safest path to seeing what's beyond here would be to graduate, but even then, there's a lot of people who just stay here even after but, they graduate. Look at it. Think about it like this. She said well over a thousand. I'm guessing that's like 1,800 people have graduated, right? Mm -hmm. 10 million students have walked these grounds. 
That's like a country-sized amount of people. She's Which... known about Externia for minimum 50 years. Which means... Who, who started Externia are still around? Which not, means... not that also the weird architecture with the concrete? Hmm. What do you mean by weird architecture? The I concrete. Like it's literally one piece of concrete. You you don't you don't do that. That's like hmm. structurally unsound. That is odd. I guess for now. Easily, like not impossible, but fucking impossible, you know. Hmm. It looks like we're gonna have to. Uh, I guess the path of least resistance is our best option. I mean, I, I'm a little off put by why we're all just contained here. But I'm telling you, it's like a prison. Hmm. I guess for now, we'll just learn about ourselves, what we can do that makes us special, and well. Since we woke up at the same time, perhaps it's best if we try to organize our schedules so that we can be together a lot. Just so that we can look out for each other. I watch your back, you watch mine? Yeah, sure. And, uh, fuck yeah, no, that's fine by me. And, <sighs> hmm. Well, let's see. I don't think Joshua knows anything. If anything, he was rather stressed. Yeah, he seems to just be trying to work at it. Excuse me. Okay. Can you imagine if I got a copyright mm -hmm. claim because of that? Because his phone ringing. Bro. I'm still a little Literally. salty that I got a copyright claim for classical music. Classical? Yeah, uh, three of my streams have muted segments in the middle. Because I was playing- I was playing classical music and it copyright claimed it from a person who did a cover of it. At some point. And it recognized it as being like their copyright and I'm like, but it's classical music, like. Maybe this person took their cover and put it into a non-copyright, like, music compilation or something, but I'm a little salty. Mm. The person might just, just, like, I don't know, but then again, it's really hard to make two pieces of classical music sound distinct. It's a non-copyrighted thing. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Man, also, I glanced over and I realized I never hit the record button, so hopefully the stream moves fine because I'll have to download the stream afterward for the YouTube upload. You're doing two separate recordings at once? Uh, I stream it and record it at the same time. That way I don't have to mm. download the stream later on and I don't have to worry about if Twitch fucks up the stream in any way. But now you do. Yeah. We've been going for an hour and 20 minutes already. Okay. But that's counting already? the little bit of time at the beginning that's probably going to be edited out of the YouTube version of just like the... You know, the silence before the beginning. Yeah. So let's see. You've got a very interesting plot so far. Cause... Well, thank you. Yes. So it's like... See, I'm... It's one of those things, yeah. I was mildly worried going into it, because, like, I, there's not a lot... I'm not immediately throwing at you guys, like, go on the mighty adventure for the grail, or whatever. There's not an immediately no, apparent goal. Yeah. Well, that being said... I really, in terms of media, every time there's any sort of, like, um, setting that takes place within, like, a school, rarely do we ever a actually get to see the actual school stuff. A lot of the times the school gets disrupted by some grand adventure, so this could be a nice change of pace to see what's up. Mm-hmm. Until something gets thrown at us and we're like, 
Ow, my feeling. <laughs> Ooh, ah, my emotion. Hi. Hi, I'm dead. And I'm here to sell you a vacuum made out of oysters. So what? what's the deal with... You keep saying you have a vacuum made out of oysters. What the fuck does that even mean? There's some sort of, like, joke coming to mind, but I don't know what it is, so I'm just venting it in the form of, Hi, I'm here to sell you a vacuum made out of oysters. Right. Oh, you know what? Hang on, I'm gonna quickly... There we go. Now on YouTube, and there's the, the banner... The banner's gonna be up there. And I'll bring that away once Sleepy's back, so... Sleepy will be back when that thing... Or that thing will go away when Sleepy's back, so all of you watching the YouTube iteration will... If you want to skip just me and Zed doing side dialogue that's not important to the story, you can. Side dialogue can be funny. You know what else is funny? Me selling you a vacuum made out of oysters. What the f- What the f- Oh yeah! And for those who didn't realize, yes, we start at 9 p.m., not 8 p.m. And yes, the uh, banner thing says 9 instead of 8 now. Uh, there is miscommunication on when people would be available. Stream will be happening every Thursday at 9 p.m. EST. Woo. So, a little bit later than was originally expected cause due to me. Uh, time zone miscommunication. Always fault. 40%. Yeah. Alright. Welcome back, Sleepy. So, as we were saying about, like, watching each other's backs, mm -hmm. I'm just like, so, hmm. Do you think they would have the his? No. Hmm. Well, she, the said that the, she said they kept a log of every student who graduated. So, if we were to go look at those logs, and look Getting at the, access the first to that batch of students who graduated, we can sort of take a guess at how long this school has been around for. But getting those logs in the first place when we're just students who just arrived, I doubt students who have been here for a long time even have access to them, and I don't think it would be in the library, because that sounds like a very important piece of, you know, Well, there might stuff, be like, right? like, a, like a forbidden section in the library, you know? That's well, kind of I don't know. Neither, well, I mean, I'm a bird that's going to leave feathers around, and you're just a I died. I'm literally just a dude. Uh, uh, I don't think I'm going to be here at all. Hmm. Well, why don't we make that our first goal? Before we start trying to get ourselves in trouble or anything, why don't we figure ourselves out first and just, you know, like I said, take the path of least resistance. See what the university is like. Because, you know, it could actually be here. But, of course, we should take a mental note of any off-putting details. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh... Right. Yeah. Well, um... Hmm... Hmm. Uh, we'll say we're gonna like biology or whatever first, right? You wanna figure out yeah, why you're a I, bird? Yeah, I'm gonna figure out why I'm a bird, but I'm just gonna look at you and be like, so do you have an idea of what your special thing might be aside from being, you know, maybe being in a minority of being a redhead? I'm gonna, I'm gonna like poke your hair. Okay, bird, you're Jeez. literally the only bird here. Talk about minorities. Car just screwed up. I'm discriminating against every bird person I see. But do you have an idea of what your special ability or thing or whatever may be? Uh, no. Not at all. Hmm. Well, maybe biology can help us figure that out. <laughs> right. Who knows? Oh, maybe? Maybe right. you'll be able to split yourself open and summon giant tentacles out. That How sounds that sound? horrific. No, I never want to do anything like that. It could be fun. Okay, yeah, you're right. That would be actually pretty gross. 
I hope you burst into like a million pieces and turn into an eldritch horror on command. Stop, guys! You're turning me on. <laughs> Sorry. Right. We're going to biology. Okay. So, as you, you know, you walked past the computer labs. I just realized I never made any of the walkways going in and out of the computer lab. Little things on the map I'm realizing I overlooked. You know, you make your way by. Uh, oh my god, it's literally just a brick. Cannot enter it at all. <laughs> what if there's a secret password and we have to, like, press the bricks in a certain way? There, there are entrances, I just didn't mark them. You make your way down and... That's the greenhouse. No, it's not. That's the greenhouse, is it? This is computer lab. This is greenhouse. Uh. No. No, it's not. Hmm? Greenhouse, oh, oh, oh. yeah. Computer lab. Oh, I guess it is. Yeah, you yeah. really can't enter that house. Yeah, I, I messed that up. That was my bad. But, um, in the, uh... Between the science labs, there's a statue of a atom... But it's not like the classic, like, you know, 1980s atom statue. It is like a representation of our modern understanding of the atom. So there's the big thing in the middle that's like the cluster of protons and neutrons. And then representing mm -hmm. the uh, electron cloud is like glass. A big glass field around it. Okay, that's pretty cool. Forming a sort of like ellipse shape. But ye. Um, and as you walk toward it, you can sort of feel your hair stand on end a little bit. Uh, what the fuck? I'm gonna examine it. Uh. Oh! Ooh, that's a good one. That's 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 a good note. I, I rolled good noise. So, you look at the uh words the statue and you can immediately tell that it's basically a giant plasma ball like legit plasma no yeah, no like you know those things that like electricity runs through them and you can touch it mm -hmm. and like it shocks you it's like that but there's not the electricity running across it currently as far as you can tell like you, there's like electron charges running around inside of there it's kind of like a massive, is it like a massive Tesla coil or something? Yeah, kind of like a Tesla coil. Like, you've had a plasma ball before, right? No, I have not. The, oh, God. The, they're like, ball. they're a desk toy thing where, like, the middle is a little, like, pole that goes up with a metal ball. And then the whole thing has a glass ball around it. And you turn on and electricity starts arcing through it to the sphere. And if you touch it, the electricity arcs to you. You know, I what, know I mean? what you're talking about. I've never owned one. Yeah, it's it's basically one of those things, but you don't actually see electricity coursing through it. Uh, <laughs> what? So, nothing. My girlfriend's here. Oh. <laughs> that was a phone call. It was her telling me to let me in. I let her in. Yeah, I was out in the Hello. <laughs> let me in. Let me in. <laughs> basically. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> She's like, let me hello, in this damn house. That's a damn? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm surprised oh, you let her scared. in. I was, I was... Why? Scared. It would be very in line for your personality to be like, nah, I'm doing something, and then just hang up and not <laughs> answer and she calls again. Not anymore. <laughs> I would have died. She knows where I live, dude. Hi, sleeping girl. I just... I, I... <laughs> Why did I change my voice ha halfway through? Hi. Anyway, the um, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's like a plasma ball, and it has like energy coursing into it from below. Okay. Huh. I'm like that's a giant plasma ball. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna like just pull out a feather and just like let it float towards the plasma ball and see what happens. It sticks to the side of the glass, and only once the feather is touching the glass do you see, like, sort of a arc of green connect from the middle to the glass. Oh. Is, it, is it consistent? 
Yeah, it's it's like uh, it's sort of like jitters, you know, like a, like a lightning bolt, like electricity of a plasma ball would, but it's green, which is unusual. Oh. With my roll, can I tell why it would be green? You have no clue. Perfect. What you do know is that it's definitely not normal speed. electricity. Yeah, there, you, know. it's you know that you don't know what it is. If you get what I mean, your ability oh, can't okay. tell you stuff you wouldn't be able to know. But right. you you know that it's nothing you've ever seen before. Like, huh? Hmm. That's really odd. Ooh, it's a good thing we're in the science department. We'll yeah. learn all about it. Why did I say it like that? Oh my god, I'm weird. Anyway, on to biology. Now that you know you have an actual audience of at least one, you get weird. It's, listen, it's time to get dissected, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know you're into that, you freak. I, I, I'm, I'm a pet. I'll split you open well. if you'd like. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, <what? laughs> anyway. Um. So you go into the science area and you're, you're basically, you know, walking the halls of it. And you realize you have no idea why, what's going on in any of the classes or where you're going. Uh, what are we doing here again? We were going to biology, but she never. She, she said it'd be Wait, in the science building. Did you enter the Under... northern building or the southern? I'm sorry, huh? There's two buildings: a northern one and a southern one. Well, an upper one and a lower one. From the angle you came out, one on one on the left, one on the right. Let's try the upper one. All right. Yes, you're in that one, and you re like the the basic layout is similar. You enter in the immediate entrance. There's a hall forward, a hall right, and a hall left. Like there's a little odd terrain where you are hall forward, hall left, and hall right. If you went forward, there'd be more left and right turns, and it's basically just like grids of labs and classes that ha you can like uh look through the window on the door and see inside but there's no like other windows to look into the rooms and you can see like it looks like all of them actually have classes going at the moment and there's a large Are number there? of clock like there's always a clock within view you realize like uh, hung up on walls mm. throughout the halls and you can realize that you're like mm. uh it's like I'm trying to think. You woke up at six, so it's it's like six twenty. Okay. Hmm. That was a quick orientation. But maybe I was. Oh man, I'm really bad with time. Let's call it like it's maybe. Let's not say six twenty. Let's say it's like six. Uh, okay, like thirty-eight. We'll okay. okay. Um. Okay. Hmm. Are there any labs that are open? You're walking through... Uh... Again, not entirely knowing where you're going. And, uh, like, mm -hmm. looking through different windows. And eventually you do see a room that seems empty. Is there a professor in there? You do not see a professor in there. Can I tell what kind of science they're teaching in here by any, like... It's, is, there, is there a big old fine skeleton? Are there beakers? So the room, every single classroom looked very similar in that they were all basically just like large room. Like, uh, I'm trying to think of like measurement wise. Like probably like, God, I'm really bad at picturing distance in my head. Hold on. I, I'll, just like, does eight meters across sound good? Well, let hold on. I I I don't know what meters is because I'm American. I'm really bad at with like measuring out spaces in that's my head. Twenty six feet. That 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 seems like a sizable amount. Yeah. So the rooms are all about like eight meters by eight meters. Uh, a, a long or a series of like countertop spaces that look like it's where like 
every single countertop had two to three students standing in front of it in the full classes with them doing experiments on them as a professor with their own counter at the front of the class stood in front of a what looks it's basically like a computer screen board and was giving their lesson. Uh, the room that you're looking in is not set up for any particular lesson from the looks of things. Hmm. Okay. So, do you go inside the empty room, or...? Uh, sure, why not? I'm just gonna follow whatever his... He's yeah. gonna follow whatever you decide to do. Okay, I'm gonna go in and... Is there a clock in this room? Uh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna look at the clock, and then I'm gonna, like... I'm just gonna sit down. We're gonna... I'm gonna... Ruffle through my own feathers and just... Look at them, I <laughs> guess, I mean. Like, pruning? Yeah, I... No, I, I'm also trying to, like... <laughs> Like, are my feathers, like, soft? Do they feel, like, super pointy? or like You like, answer that question like that. for me. They're your feathers. What are they like? Well, let's see. I'm guessing the ones on my wings would be, like, pointy-ish. But then the ones on my head are, like, yeah. Oops, Small true fuzz. So I can get head pads. It will... I just realized you being a gay bird boy, your friend Dove is what dream. You honest <laughs> shit. Hello, I I am the Dude I, get pegged by a I, I, I am I am the pet furry put me in a bird cage feed me things and I'll shit for you and sing you a song like I'm a furry. I'm sure Dove would love for you uh, to shit on him. Anyway, <laughs> God, no. just being no. mean to the man when he can't defend himself. No, why would you do this? Don't do that to the poor man. Ah, he'll never watch my channel, I'm sure. Anyway. I'm gonna no, unless I advertise it to him. I'm gonna clip yeah. it and send it to him. <laughs> I'm gonna clip again. Oh, God. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tofa. Um. Yeah. The room also on the left and right has, like, what looks like met locked metal cabinets, you realize. Like, lining the walls. The room is very, like, barren feeling. Like, you know how a lot of classrooms have, like, little decorations put there by the teacher? Mm -hmm. This does not have any such thing. It's very this utilitarian. It's not like a psych ward. It's all very utilitarian. Dude, I'm telling you, they they they're mer they're crazy people out here. What if we're the crazy people? You're the crazy person. What if I'm not actually a bird? Look, lose your mind on your own time. Damn. <laughs> Did you yeah. say rude? So what? Yeah, what do you no, my girlfriend. <laughs> That's that's right. That's that's right. That's right. This is animal abuse. Sleepy mistreats his pet furry. Hello. <laughs> I know. Jeez. Oh God. Are you going to the professor walk into like just two students? There's a thing. I mean, how long are you guys gonna sit there for? I don't know idea. Let's give it until 7.30. Do you do anything while you're sitting there? Do you, like, poke around? Do you just sit there and do nothing? Like I said, there's... Uh, all of the counter things have various little drawers in their own little sink station and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna start investigating drawers. Uh, the drawers are all empty. There's also, though, a metal, uh, series of metal shelves on the sides of the room that appear to be locked. Like, uh, like metal cabinets line the walls on the left and right side of the room. I'm gonna go over to the cabinets and just start, like... Well, I can't shake them, because if I shook them and there were, like, dangerous chemicals and they knocked over and, like, mixed together, that'd be kind of bad. <laughs> hey, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna analyze these, uh... 
these cabinets, especially the locks. Uh, do, 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 I'm gonna use a camera as well. Okay. Boom. Spend one of your tokens. Let me go ahead and delete the token. So. I'm on the wrong layer. You examine the, uh, the cabinets, and, you know. You can't tell what's the interior of the cabinet is in depth, but you can, there's definitely, like. I'm trying to think of how, how to words. They're definitely going to be full of science equipment. There's very little doubt in your mind that, that would be the case. The locks are basically your standard, like, you know, like, tumbler, tumble lock. Um, or, is it, or is it like a pattern? What? Is it, does it have like a, a pattern? Like it's like numbers? a key lock. A key lock, okay. Um. Dova said bra. You, you can tell that they're bolted to the floor and the wall, meaning that you wouldn't be able to like pull them up with any ease. And the whole thing is made of out of a... God, what, I guess it would be like a steel, like a steel material. They've been, give, been given a, uh, like, they are, it's a steel material. They've been painted with a, uh, like, sort of almost like rubberized paint that will keep the, me the metal in good condition. Uh, and gives them a very pale brown color. Like, think, like, slightly lighter than milk chocolate brown. Okay. Um. How That's big? Okay. How big are the the, the the locks on the door? The locks are built into the handle. Okay. How Ooh. big does does Bird Boy have any claws on him? I mean, I guess my hands would kind of be like. Talons, I guess. I mean, you said your hands are mostly like human ones, though, didn't you? I like, we, never, about, like, we the, never talked the, about the depth of like okay, your anatomy. Okay. When when I say when when I say they're like human hands, I'm talking about like the general like shape. I, don't, I you got I five fingers. So refer yeah, I was more so referring j just to avoid confusion. The fact, like, I I know that there's some anthropomorphic birds that are more like harpy like where my hands are also my wings i'm not like that i have wings on my back we built like angels mm -hmm. i know you guys can't see me but i'm doing like a stupid like influ influencer pose sexy yeah no see so, yeah, you know you, you, like he has kind of long nails yeah okay is it feasible the nail could fit in the lock Maybe. Let's try it. Who knows? Maybe I'll break it off. It'd be funny. <laughs> so if, I, if I analyze the lock, could I maybe figure out how it works? Be able to use his nail to get into it? You doubt that his nail could pick the lock from your analysis. You got, actually got a really good analysis, but any sort of thin metal, a pair with a simple thin pair of metal rods, you could probably pick the lock. Like a hair thing? What? Hair pin? Yeah, hairpins would be, be about right if you had those on you. Oh no, find... we're both boys. I'm gonna find some. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go find a girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Are you talking in character or just in real life? Because that sounds like something you would do. God, no. <laughs> God. I, I was about to say your old nickname that we gave you that you hated, but I'm not gonna do that. You know the one, Sleepy. Hey, save me the pain. Can, can, can you DM me what, what that was? I'm Off campaign, and I'll mention it. It's it's a joking yeah. thing that is completely non-representative of him. We've never mentioned it on stream before. Oh, be embarrassing. Anyway, especially in front of your girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'll, I'll, you know, hang on. We At this point, I should say, just for the sake of the audience, uh, at one point, Sleepy made a comment about how, like, he, uh, 
What was it? You said something like, um... God, I forget what prompted you, prompted the nickname, but we were ironically uh, calling you Big Bad Womanizer. Yeah, me flirting with Sheebs, that's what it was. Oh yeah, you flirted with one of your friends. Oh yeah, you were flirting with uh, Sheebs and she didn't know you had a girlfriend at the time. Yeah. Like, because he, he, for context, he wasn't like flirting, flirting. We all jokingly flirt with each other all the time to fuck with each other and joke around. And he was doing that, and then like uh, somebody else joined the call and was like, "Don't you have a girlfriend?" And then the jo- the like uh, somebody jokingly called you womanizer, and then we start all to were jokingly calling you big bad womanizer or j- calling him big yeah. bad womanizer for a while. And Levi still called me that. Big bad womanizer. My, my one of my favorite quotes from you is still um I don't want to I I'm, I don't want to womanize anymore I want to be womanized. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, Levi said that, that that that's what I was feeling. That's a big mood. You don't know, okay? Well, I'm just saying I want to be womanized. Let, 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 let me clarify. Let me clarify. I am excluded from this narrative because I don't flirt with people. Because um, you get flirted with. Yeah, I, I... And he actively hates it. Yeah. Don't you, you handsome little lad? <laughs> <laughs> you make my girlfriend uncomfortable. She's not even part of this conversation. That's the goal! <laughs> God. The, Look, I don't, the I more don't awkward and stilted the flirt <laughs> is, the better. Ah, uh, okay. When yeah, I f- yeah I did you fall when, ten- when I- did you fall from did what? it did it hurt when you came out of Tennessee? <laughs> when I chose to be a furry, I could have chosen to be so weird that people wouldn't talk to me, but no, I decided to be normal and look where it's gotten me. <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? You are a handsome little boy, that's what you did wrong. Uh, no, do not call me a little boy. What did I say? I don't know what you said, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> I'm gonna strangle the fuck out of here. Names and fairies, I am trying to do bird Anyway. <laughs> hey, so, if you cooked my character, would he taste like chicken? Anyway, so you leave and are looking for a girl? Do you leave the building or you just search within the building? Because these buildings are huge. <laughs> Uh, so... Yeah, I'm gonna gonna search a little bit. It's getting close to... er, As you go out and start searching, it gets to around 750. And at 750, a a number of the rooms, like, people start shuffling out all of a sudden. And it seems all the classes are ending. Uh, so... Hey, I need a hair... a hairpin... You just call out. Yep. Yep. <sighs> well, you got two charm. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh. Oh. The both of us are kind of... Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Sir, we, we are... Nobody no. pays a single heed. I can't. Well... Sleep. Sleepy? I, I hear you. Um... Okay. I'm here. Yeah, nobody nobody pays a single heed. Mm. Does he call out? In with being. Well, uh, how do you do? Oh God! I hope not. I hope neither of you ever have to lie at any point because you'll be fucked. Hmm? Yeah, we're lacking the social department, but you know, I mean, nerds. Dexter's intelligent, and. Actually, my character has like average intelligence. It is, if anything, I'm like my character is like very PC-ish. physically fit. Yeah, you're lean. But anyway, um, boy. wait, average is five. Oh. <laughs> but um, so yeah, nobody pays you any heed when you call that out, uh, Dexter. Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep on doing it. Just keep on. Uh, you spend the next several minutes like going to people being like, I need a hairpin, need a hairpin. Meanwhile, no, I'm not going to. I am fucking not shouting, raising my voice. Going, I need a hairpin, I need a hairpin. 
Yeah, just walking the halls, some people glancing over, yeah. but, like, not really doing anything. Meanwhile, uh, Ismo, you're just sitting in the classroom, like, pruning your feathers, or? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, like, I'm just gonna, like, observe my body. <laughs> That's right, we're doing homebrew science. I mean, I'm gonna see if know. I taste like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> just straight up tasting yourself. Chicken nuggets? No. Oh, Ismo no. nuggets. That's Ismo right. It's, nuggets. It, it, that's right. It's made from my very own flesh. Exter $5.99. Externia fried Ismo. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, but, um, I'm just gonna, like, look at just, like, observe myself as a bird. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming there's no reflective surfaces here either, right? Uh, there's some, like, mildly reflective surfaces, like, uh, there's some cool. sinks I, here, I'm, I'm, you can do, oh, actually, I want to see if I have a bird head. The white, the, or where there would be, like, a, a blackboard or whiteboard, it's just a big screen that's off, so you can see your reflection in that. Okay, cool. I'm gonna, like, hold on, let me just, um, I'm so glad this audi the audience is gonna see this, because, like, a, a, a post pictures are like kind of funny and kind oh of funny i and i'm going to show it to the audience we're not just oh, gonna well, have images you... they can't see so here you go what are you doing? Here, here's here's what he posted <laughs> ah! Where? it's not there there we go <laughs> have you ever seen a bird Listen. swallow a whole hot dog yes that sounds terrifying. And it blows on my call hot dog, hot dog. It pisses me off. What? Hot, hot dog. More like hot oyster. <laughs> God damn. That makes up my vacuum. Supply. What does that even mean? I have no idea. If this channel takes off, we are going to make. <laughs> Oyster vacuum t-shirts. It'll be the first product. Not with your clam out. Anyway. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, trucker I'm, gonna, <sighs> I'm gonna run that joke into the ground until it just... It, it's like the it's like the phrase uwu, how at first I did it ironically, but then it stops being ironic. And now I say it like every other sentence. Uwu. <laughs> So anyway, the fucking, um... Yes. What was yes. it? There's a professor come in to harass me, no. and dissect me, and turn me into... So, oh. after some yeah. time, people start to shuffle into the classes, and you're j once again just standing in the hall, sleepy. And then you hear, in the distance, seven bell gongs. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, was a waste dun, of fucking time. Dun. I'm gonna go into one of the classrooms that has people in it. Do any people shuffle into my classroom? Nope. The class you're in remains in empty. Case, in that case, I'm gonna, like, go to a different class and see what happens. So you both approach a class in progress, go up to the door, and the doors are locked. Shit. Oh yeah, I guess we can't disturb class as well. Yeah, that's right. Fuck. Well, they didn't really give us a schedule, so... Oh, you're in different that's areas. Like... You're not next near each other. Oh, uh, okay. I'm just gonna be I'm like... Not... Uh, I wish they gave us a schedule. I... Hmm. I was about to... My character's like about to knock, but then he decides against it. He's just gonna like... Let I should regroup with him. I'm gonna like go. To... I'm gonna go back to my dorm. <laughs> I'm gonna. Try... Oh no! I'm 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 gonna wander the halls trying to find him. Um. Eventually, as you're wandering the halls, you start to get near the uh, entrance area again, and you bump into each other there. Oh hey, oh. Izumo. It's, it's Izumo. Oh, and, 
I wasn't able to get into any classes, so... Um, yeah, nobody wanted to give me a hairpin. Hmm. I don't know why. I'm a pretty nice Well... Guy. Well, we're just gonna have to wait until tomorrow then, so... Tomorrow? Well, yeah, I mean... It's, it's only 7 a.m. Psychopath. I'm a psych. I'm a psychopath. You're, you're With a voice. <laughs> you guys gonna head back to your dorm room? Might as well. I wonder if we can find Joshua. Maybe. He said he was gonna go get breakfast. Do you know where the food is at? How do you eat food? You have a beak, right? <laughs> I'm good. I'm. Okay. So why don't we just refer to the image? Okay, so like, how do you eat? You just slurp shit down. You need like. I mean, I guess I eat a, like things... a blender and drink it like a smoothie. I guess I eat things whole. You know, if you give me a hot omelet, ah, you know. <laughs> I, I can know picture a character just like ah, doing the movement. <laughs> Slide into my mouth, like twist here we see, out of my butt. Here we see the well respected Tengu <laughs> eating <laughs> on <laughs> Slide into oh. my mouth, like poop slides out of my butt. So, where do you guys go? I'm gonna regurgitate it, you know, eat me Let's like I'm in the cafeteria. Do you know where the cafeteria is? You don't have maps on you, do you? I have the book. Okay, you have the book with you, right. Yeah, right. I know where everything is. Yeah, so you head to your map. It's worth mentioning, they have a map of the full school, but it's unlabeled, but then it, you turn and it's just, like, they have uh, a, basically a zoomed-in map section that is just one cool. corner and labels everything. Um, now, uh, additionally, you notice that in the corners of the image are the bear, bird, squid, and human, or knight, whatever you want to call it, that are all oriented differently, that basically make you have to hold the uh, book a little bit differently. So basically, uh, make it clear which quadrant you're in to navigate, if you get what I mean. I probably described that bad, but whatever. Additionally, two labels I didn't have space for and I was labeling everything is the label near the theater. It says, um, uh, quadrant statue. And then there's the space toward the center, a large statue or a structure in the middle. And it says bell tower. And sure enough, if you look in that direction, you can see a several story tall bell tower. I'm talking Statue of Liberty scale concrete structure. Does it all look like it's made out of one piece? It looks like it connects up to uh, the walkway, potentially, yeah, but you can't tell from here. That's where the fucking council is. Them yeah. bitches are in the clock tower, I bet. Bell tower. Bet. Actually, yeah, no, it, it is also a clock on top. Huh. In the tower. That's where they are, 100%. The fucking immortal fucking people who made this school. I got theories, dude. Um, so you're making your way to the cafeteria, though? The mess hall? Yes. Which, by the way, I'm yeah. just gonna say, the medical areas and the engineering classes are in science labs. Okay. Because, uh, you know, medical stuff is a science, and so is engineering. Kinda. <laughs> I got a doctorate in car engineering. I got a doctorate in mechanics. <laughs> I'm an engineer. Anyway, so you make your way to the mess hall. You notice that there are some people, like, chilling out, lounging around, walking around. You know, not everybody is in classes, it seems. Um, right. So you slowly make your way to the cafeteria, and you soon arrive. And it's... Or the mess hall, I should say. The mess hall is basically just a, like... You know food courts at the mall? Yeah. Imagine one really, really big food hall. 
I'm talking like, hold on, how big would this be? This is a... This is the entire building, so the, the food court section is going to be a little bit smaller. But the building is two, uh, 200 meters by 300 meters. So it's a big-ass food court. Okay. Big boy. Uh, and there's, like, rows and rows of, like, various types of seating from booths to benches to long tables to round Ooh. tables. And, like, lining the walls. Uh, or lining the southern... Or hang on, the... I'm oh, sorry. Lining the eastern wall is just like a massive like cafeteria line situation that stretches the entire length of the building and has multiple ways that people can like step into the line. Okay. Like it, it's not even actually a line. There's nothing roping it off. People just walk up to sections, get food, and walk away. It seems. There's a fair chunk of people chilling here. A lot of people. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why did we come here again? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait, we're looking for, for what's his face? Joshua? Yes. Okay. Who said he was going to come here to get food? An yeah. hour ago. An hour ago. Look. An hour ago. Maybe we'll find him here. Yeah. See, I'll spend some time walking around, and you, you, you spend a good chunk of time walking up and down, like, zigzagging, searching, like, maybe, do you stick together, or do you sort of, like, separate to each, like, take half the... I, I at least want to keep... Oh, this room is very high ceiling, by the way. Like, this is three stories tall, and it's just one floor, so it's a very tall ceiling. Is, is there like seating in the rafters or some shit? We got we got shit for bird people. Uh, there's not seating in the rafters, but there is like a second floor sort of balcony seating situation going on. If you get what I mean, so you can go up on one floor to sit a little higher and eat. I'm gonna fly up. See what happens. You can kind of maintain a single position flying, but like it's it's easier to just continue moving. If you get what I mean. Yeah, I'm just gonna use it to like fly up to like the second balcony. But but but, but now so a word from our sponsors. <laughs> we serve back to you. I'm sorry. Oh I'm God. just gonna. <laughs> dude, 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 let's get that thing in stream. Oyster vacuum. <laughs> there you go. But uh, but also me choking on a hot dog. <laughs> God. This is the bird talking about oyster vacuums. Arr! Run for our sponsors! Arr! Uh, <laughs> She's laughing at your art, Ved. Feel accomplished. <laughs> Show the hot dog. Oh my god, I just saw that one myself. <laughs> He's gonna put it on the screen here in a second. I'm I'm loving that shit post energy. <laughs> there you go. Listen, listen, listen. I th this is what happened when the world let me have an art tablet. Th this is what happens when you the put four, your creative mind. The four nations lived in har your limits. The four nations lived in harmony, and then Zed was given an art tablet. <laughs> I hope people are enjoying the Discord pings in the background, by the way. <laughs> I'm a chicken. I don't know how many people are getting triggered by that. The Discord pings. Damn. They, they can... So, anyway, you go up, and from your heightened position, uh, let's do an observation check. What is your observation? You have an observation of four. Uh, you, you fly up and like, you spend like a solid minute combing the cafeteria before you realize you have not registered any of the people's faces. 
You know what I mean? Where, like, you're looking, but you're actually not registering any of what you're seeing, if you get what I mean. Oh. Damn. And so you have to, like, start, sc- like, scanning over a second time. Are there any windows? Yes, there's a skylight and very, like, a, mo- a majority of the walls here are just glass. It's very, like, natural light. Can I bump into one? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, so you're gonna... F- Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get given two tokens. Fly headlong into a window. Hold on. Oh, God. <laughs> and I'm gonna do an Art. athletics check. Do 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 do. Might be wise to spend those tokens. Perhaps. You fly headlong into it and boop. Uh uh ba da ba da. You take three non-lethal damage as you smack into the window with like concussive damage, and then fall down onto the ground. So my character turns to like, ow. From your perspective, uh, Dexter, you watched him fly up onto the balcony in the area, land down, scan over the crowd for like a solid like four or five minutes, and then fly up straight into the skylight and fall onto the balcony again. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna go fucking. I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna go see how this man is doing. He's just lying there in pain. <laughs> I wanna like examine him, see if he's okay. I'm, I'm gonna put like. I'm just slowly gonna like raise one of my thumbs. <laughs> at first it's gonna. At first it's gonna be like thumbs up, but then I'm just gonna be tired and then I'm just. It, it's, it's just gonna drop down and then my hand's gonna drop on the ground. He seems pretty. Hurt. How like, pretty hurt. It's hard to tell. Didn't roll good. I didn't roll good? Nah. I'm gonna kick him. Lightly. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, hey, are you okay? Ow. That's my spleen. Stop. <laughs> okay, we'll take it. You're not okay. <laughs> Uh... Hmm. That was a bad idea. <laughs> so there's a few people gathering around looking like, you okay, man? Do you need the nurse? I'm, I'm gonna like... I'm gonna like look up and be like, I'm... I'm okay. I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm. Hey, does anyone else see stars? Who wants to go to astronomy class? <laughs> Let me just, uh. Who wants to go to astronomy class? I do. No. <laughs> oh, it's time for astronomy. That's right. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> I hate myself. Oh, uh, I don't know about you, but anybody who who's into astronomy is a cancer in my eyes. But an tss. that was mean. Um, I was willfully mean. Hell is where I should be. There's a customer I had today whose email was Taurus, and then his first name, and then the year he was born. <laughs> This is so, like a, this is like a, it's like a, a black guy from Ohio. So anyway, what are you guys Ohio. gonna do for a majority of your time? I love how we've been going for two hours and only one hour's passed in game. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just be looking. I kind of want to go to the library. Yeah, you. It's uh, it soon becomes apparent he's not in the cafeteria. And I wanna My character's gonna like. <laughs> Limp back to the dorm. Okay. Yes, yeah, split the party. So yeah. you you're gonna go to the library, Sleepy? 
just, just turn and walk away from the spurred brain. Yeah. Goodbye. What do you want to do? If you dare call me a bird brain, I'm gonna draw him shuffling. Oh. Ooh. Anyway, uh, did you get my message? Oh, you gotta step away? Yes. Oh. I must step away. Are you gonna be so gone now, long? My bird I'm gonna be eating? Oh, so... God. <sighs> Shoot. Sorry. Yeah. Um, oh man, I'm upset that we have to sort of end it on a potentially anticlimactic note. So we'll keep going with Sleepy a little since you guys are splitting up anyway. Yeah, sorry, I sorry. will. I will scarf things down and come back. And if you guys are still here, I'm. You guys are buying my oyster vacuum. <laughs> You're buying it. God. You can't stop me. So anyway, Sleepy, I love two hours. God, I just looked at the timer. It's like fucking two hours. Wait, what? Yeah. Anyway, so you, what do you do? You, um. What are you gonna I'm do? Going to the library. I'll look through any sort of records they might have. Alright. Uh, you start making your way to the library. Uh. Mm. So. You make the long walk down to the library. It's worth mentioning that walking this distance does take a good chunk of time every time. Mm -hmm. right. So, you exit the cafeteria to the southern entrance and basically walk south between the dorms for a the huge distance and enter the library. Mm -hmm. uh, as you enter, there's a large statue. or It's sort of like an abstract looking statue. It's a pillar that is like Narrow toward the t it runs up like four story. Actually, no. The I'm trying to think of how to describe this. When you enter the library, there is initially like basically a um librarian's area where you can ask for particular books. So, do you ask for anything in particular? Uh, uh records on the history of the school as well as well as. If there's any books about the the students that come here, like what what they can do and stuff, I'm afraid. It, it, so, far, so far, it seems like like there's something like superpowerish, but I don't quite know yet. I'm afraid students don't have access to that information. Okay, why? Hmm. Uh, it is, uh, or you're only allowed to see that, or. Bleh. Or that information is not important to your education. Why is it not important? How can you decide what's important to my education or not? You won't be tested on the history of the academy. Why? Why can't I just learn it? It's, a, uh, it's unimportant for you to know. Okay, well, then I have a question for you. Yes? I am, this is my first day here. Hmm. What I'm curious about is, uh, like, what, 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 what should I, like, do for my classes? Hmm. Well, you will need to get a passing grade of 70% or higher across all of the testing types that will come about at the end of the year. I've heard a couple times. If I want to pass with the highest score possible, what classes do I need to take? Do you have your student guidebook? I'm pull it out. Yup. They open it up and they flip to a what appears to be a series of timetables. Mm -hmm. And they start point it basically pointing out and explaining that the timetables are laid out, showing what room you go to at what time on what day of the week to get each type of lesson. And they point out that all lessons are marked as either as a, a level 1 to level 30 test. And that is marking what year or what years will be tested on that information. So a year 1 student will be tested on any level 1 information. A year two student will be tested on all level one and level two information. Um, the only class that works significantly different from all of this would be the um, the gym class in which students will just be given like, 
You know, think like fitness grand pacer style tests. God, something is pinging like crazy. Hold on, I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully that'll stop that. But uh, a fitness grand pacer test, and every year you'll be expected to achieve more and more. Okay. But of course, you don't. You could, in theory, for example, shirk all gym stuff if you just do all the academic things really good. You could completely bomb one test so long as across all tests you get a 70% score or higher. When they're all averaged against each other. Okay. Um, I personally, I want to go for like as many points as possible. Um, so I want to, my thinking was that I'd completely concentrate on one subject, get everything I need for that year's worth, and then do the next. Is that possible? If you think it will all be fresh in your mind for the, by the time of the test, in theory, it should be. Well, look, let's say I take decent enough notes, and then by the time the test was around, I do a quick overview of the notes, and I'm set, right? If you believe that that method will work for you, yes. Everybody learns differently. It's why the school does not restrict students to one particular learning method. If you really okay. think you could, or you could pull it off, you could just come here to the library and study. But it might be a little harder to know exactly what information you have when compared to just the classes. Well, I'm saying, like, I'm going to go to the classes and stuff. Huh. Yeah. She sort of uh, smiles and is like, it should, it should work if you think it'll work well for you. Okay. I tried to keep my well balanced education system myself to stop my. or education myself to stop from getting bored of one class. Oh, that's pretty smart. Wait, are you still a student? No, no, I graduated several years ago. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, when did you graduate? She, she, she thinks for a moment, she's like, It's been some time. How many years ago? A few. I've worked here for quite some time. I can't, all right, you lose track of the time after a while of being here. No. Yeah, when I remember you... I was talking to, uh... A professor, I guess, and she said she'd been working here for like 15 years. Some of our more senior staff members have been here for quite some time. Hmm. So I guess what, you're newer? Like what, five, maybe six years? Oh, longer than that, I'm sure. Oh, I mean, wait, you really don't remember it? Oh, well, what was it like, you know, at least, you know, the, the later years, you know, how was that? The tests sharply escalate within difficulty. Every year, by the 30th year, you need to make sure that you can, uh, that you remember 70% of the 30 years worth of information you've learned. Oh, wow. Or, uh, or and on top of that, if you wanted to get a 100% or... At the very least, a 9% or higher, you would need the athletic athleticism on par with an Olympian. Huh. Damn, okay. And that's with you aging and everything. You're gonna be, I'm gonna be like 40... What, how old, I, how old am I? I don't know. I'm gonna be like almost 50 by the time I graduate. That's everybody. You gotta be like... Almost 50 and have the, the athleticism of Olympian? Many of our students age with quite a bit of grace. Uh, what does that mean? Hmm. Well, most people by the time they're at the- or by the time they're graduating, you'll hardly look a day over 30. Why? I don't know. As I said, just everybody who's ever I've ever seen going to external university is aged aged with grace. Huh. Okay, that's wild. 
Okay, well, um, oh, I guess I don't really have any more questions. I can't think of anything. You hear nine bell chimes, uh, much louder than pre than in the previous areas. Oh, hey, there's a question. What are the bell chimes for? I know they denotate the hour, but like. Well, it's exactly that to help people stay on time, uh, stay on time, and keep track of the time. Oh, okay. Is there another use for it? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Oh, I also have another question. I read something about. Or I was told something about like the the founding council or something. They're still closely watching externia. Hmm. External, my bad. Yes. Hmm. Are they, do they like, you know, do it from that tower or like, are they part of the staff that, you know, sort of go around and teach? Like, I can't really meet them. I've never met them myself. They, communi or they communicate with a staff member by the name of Allison, who communicates directly with all of us. So I guess Allison would be like... The dean or something? Their liaison. Okay. And is she? What does she do besides that? Hmm. Over. She simply oversees the staff, staff and students, as far as I'm aware. So I suppose she is akin to a dean in a way, but she doesn't. Uh, she, uh, she rarely does much to oversee uh, how we're teaching. Well, yeah, well, I assume there's more free-form, since you guys do have more free-form education, the teachers teach what's comfortable for them. So long as we mean, or remain within the, require, or within the requirements of what we're supposed to be teaching, yes. Oh, yeah. We are encouraged to ensure that a number of our students pass the tests. We can, uh... If too many students that learn underneath us fail, we can face uh, uh, reprimandation or even being fired. Oh, wow. Wait, do you know anyone that's, like, left the academy and, like, been alright? Hmm. Oh, I have never met anyone from outside the academy, no. Aside from hmm. new students. That's fair. And, like, the, the, the walls, are they protecting us from something? You see, she sort of, like, gets a look as you ask that. She's like, I wouldn't worry about the walls. Well, I mean, I'm I, I'm a little, you know, a little worried. It's a massive wall that's keeping us enclosed. I'm just a little curious. They're protecting us from something, right? Hmm. You don't have to go into detail. Just like a yes or no, you know? I... The walls are to keep us here. Well, well Why? I've never. Uh, this isn't a question path worth pursuing. Okay. Yeah, not an issue. Okay, that's not a yeah. All right. Uh. All right. So, Allison talks to the founders. Don't question the walls. Noted. Are you actually taking notes? No. Okay, the way you're talking, it sounded like you're actually taking notes. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, what do you do now? Uh, I guess I'll... I'll actually, I'm gonna just sort of go through the books. You start roaming the halls, and eventually, uh, you see how there's two entrances to the library? Mm hmm So at the point where the entrances intersect, you basically have, like, a room that reaches all the way to the ceiling. This is, like, a seven-story tall building. Uh, one of the tallest buildings aside from the bell tower, it seems. Uh, and a, a statue runs up the entire center, and it's, like, at its base... Like a good 10 meters across and gets a little bit narrower each meter up. Because basically a series of tiered cylinders, but they're not, uh, 
Yeah, a series of like tiered cylinders, and it looks like it has like wind something that looks like windows carved in it and doors carved in on spots. And if you get close and look, it even looks like it has an entire carved interior. And you can see that the stat like the the placard on the uh the their statues have placards like the one in the science facility had a placard that said a uh that said hydrogen, and this one has a placard that says Tower of Babel. As in, like, from the Bible? You assume, I guess. Okay. Like, this is huh. Tower of Babel. Wild. Religious call-outs in an enclosed space with a bunch of super-powered college students. Suspicious. <laughs> hey. Hmm? You look up and you notice there's someone like peeking around the statue like, hey, you what? Dexter? Uh, who are you? Mm -hmm. Are you Dexter? Who are you? I asked first, man. You notice he's sort man, of a broad, he's a broadly built man with sort of like, uh, like, his hair is like somewhere between like yellow, like blonde and uh redhead, almost like a yellowy orange. A very unusual <laughs> color, and it's like sort Dude, of cut short. The asking for my name. I'm just looking for for Dexter Collins. Is all? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Well, who are you? What do you want? Hmm. I'm your roommate. Your other roommate, I mean. You already met Joshua, oh. right? Yeah. Huh. You can get er or you can call me Lex. Lex Luther? <laughs> no, I I mean you see things for a moment. I guess I don't know my last name. I don't know why I said that name. Maybe we've met before now? I hope not. I feel like I've heard Lex Luthor somewhere before, and it's definitely not my name, though. Okay. Huh. I think that it's someone who's bald, and I'm not bald. At least I'm not uh, right yeah. now. Yeah, see, you already look. You're gonna turn into Lex Luthor. Hmm. Right. Well, Isn't um, that every man's dream? Listen, I may or may not have been keeping an eye on you at Joshua's request. That's really creepy, dude. He mentioned how you seemed like the kind to ask questions, which you definitely are. <laughs> which you Thanks. definitely don't want to be. At least not around Why? the staff. Why? Oh, can you answer my questions, sir? I can try. What's your name again? Lex. Fuck, that. yeah, that's right, your name is Lex. Um, uh, listen, all, people who ask too many questions have a tendency to, you know, not turn up beer? anymore. Oh, yeah, okay, so, cool, so I'm gonna get killed off. But, uh, what do you think of this place so far? Uh, well, I think, well, I, I think it's a fucking, like, prison, honestly. Exactly! There's a reason we're here, and it, there's no way it's good. No one ever wakes up somewhere without memories, and it's a good thing. Especially when there's walls and shit, and they're gonna make you spend 30 years learning a bunch of shit. And if you don't graduate, you just, like, what, disappear? And we've been trying to learn as much as we can. We're trying to get out. Oh, well... I have an idea, but I don't know how well it's going to work. Alright, well, let's hear it. Well, I can, uh, I think I can just understand things by looking at them. Right. I want to look at the walls. <laughs> Alright. And a lot, all the walls are lined with bookshelves. So I'm thinking, talk about the walls outside that are keeping us in. 
Oh, you're saying, okay, you want to look at the walls? He's like, you think you might be able to see something we don't? Um, yeah. Listen, I... For now, just, or during the day, just try and blend in, act normal. Take your classes, you know, try to not stand out too much. Yeah. No problem. Tonight, though, meet us, or meet us outside the library, northern entrance. Oh, library. There's two. Talking about for the bears? Uh, yeah, the bear library. Okay. We don't really have, oh. or we haven't talked to anybody in the other wings yet. It's hard to know if you can trust them, you know, they're... We've had people sell out others in the past. Okay, so we gotta be careful as well. Yeah. You notice how our room has four beds, right? Mm-hmm. There's a reason we had two openings in our room. That probably means you're getting watched, dude. It was about two months ago. So uh, two months ago, one of our operations went south. All right. Jackson and Dylan got caught, and we never saw them again. We got away though. Listen, what? Just don't go near the walls. Not yet. They're not human. Whatever's out there. Oh, so there are things out there. No, I mean, in here, out there, on our side of the walls. Are they what? Are they what's patrolling the walls? Yeah, they they're gonna look human if you. They're gonna look human when we go there, but they aren't. Trust me. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe the people that disappeared become the things guarding the walls? Yeah, we've tossed that theory around. Well, if it is the case, it's not worth considering. Why? Do you want to dwell on, uh, dwell on becoming something not human? I mean, look at the people around you, man. <laughs> How many people here are human? Good point. Are any of us What's human? Are you human? human? What's the baseline for a human? Hmm. Let me put it, or let me word it differently then. The things guarding the walls aren't individuals. And the last thing you want to do is bump into them. Okay. Just try and blend in, walk around the campus, learn your way around, alright? Actually, fuck it. Let's walk around. I'll start showing you around. Yeah, I'm gonna, okay. I also got a question for you, buddy. Yeah? Uh, what's your weird gimmick? Well, if we're lucky, you'll never have to see it in action. That's wild. And can you answer my question, though? Uh, I'm really good at fighting. That's cool as shit. I well, hang on. That's probably more vague than I than you're thinking. I mean, like I can. You know how like you have to put force into it when you punch something. Yeah. I can sort of focus the same way on something I'm just touching and it creates, uh, not quite heat. I melt anything. Like, I'm talking stuff that shouldn't even melt, I can melt. Like? Wood. Or paper. Humans? Oh yeah, I've melted. I mean, those things aren't humans, but, you know, I've melted them. Huh. Horrifying. I love it. I've never tried using on any fellow students. I'd never want to try. That's probably a good thing. But, yeah. Let's, let's just start looking around the facility. Yeah. And with what's, that... What's Josh? Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. I was going to ask, what's Joshua's gimmick then? He can see far. 
and like outside himself. He can see oh, anywhere so anywhere he's seen he can see. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. We get this man in once in any sort of locked area and he can just hang out there? I mean he can't see the changes that have happened there. Like it like if he looked in your room and there's people there right now, he wouldn't be able to tell that, but he could recall everything in the room as if he was walking around in it. It's sort of like, I don't want to, he's described it weirdly. He says it's not like memory. It's not photographic memory. He says he can put himself there again in the moment he was there. Replay things he's seen. Huh. That's really cool. So what he does is he kind of locks in on that memory as like a static point in time. And I, revisits it. Yeah, yeah, like a security, like security footage. But he can get closer to things, but he can't see things he didn't see at the time. He doesn't have eyes in the back of his head. It's but can weird. Can you still sound. like investigate the room? Can you like look through stuff? No. Okay. Not from what he said. He we've asked him a lot of these things, and he gets touchy about it because he feels it, like it's not as impressive as we make it out to be. But it's come in handy in the past. Like, if he just glances at something for a second, he can go back and read it later. I mean, he's oh really good in a lot of his English class, or a lot of his, uh, but not English classes. He's really good in a lot of his, uh, literature yeah. classes because of it. Yeah, I bet. That's insane. Any book he needs to recall information on, he can. It's why you get, it's why you find you can find him in the gym more often than anywhere else actually despite how squirrely he looks. Ooh, I like squirrels. I like to think your character literally just popped up at that. <laughs> Welcome Ooh, back. What's going on right now? <laughs> One sec. What? Oh, so great. Now Sleepy's walking away. Everything's fucked. Hello, welcome back, Zed. Hi. Zed got or er, Sleepy got lore dumped. He got he got lore chat on him. Nice. I'm I'm oh, worried that things yeah. are like when I look at how much time has passed and how little has happened, I get worried a little bit that we're being I... boring. <laughs> I. I'm sorry, it's just like, one, I got called away. So, oh yeah, it's all good. You know. But also, I don't know what to make my character do in this situation. Oh yeah, it's okay. I'm I'm not, nece I haven't necessarily been throwing you guys bones much. I, I don't want to like, guide you through everything clearly. But I hope I'm leaving yeah. enough details for you to pick up on, and then like, mo this moment I'm worried that I'm not leaving enough. Because I don't want to tell you, like, hey, go do this thing or go look at this thing. I want you guys to, like, think to examine things or do things on your own. Yeah. Because this is this is a mystery true. campaign predominantly, so I don't want to be giving you the answers to questions. Yeah. I'm just, like... <laughs> I, as a Shoot. person... I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. Well, imagine, Ollie. You get pulled away... Everybody point and laugh. Hi, stream. Now for a message from our sponsors. Do you what? ever feel that your living room carpet doesn't feel oceany enough? Well, now, with the new oyster vacuum, a vacuum shaped like an oyster, you can fill it up with sea water. No more of that. Scented candle scent, like applewood or something a middle-aged mother would have. Now you can smell like the sea shanties you're thinking about. Call 1-800-OYSTER-VACUUM today to get, to buy one, get one free. Ooh. 
I don't know. know what I, I I don't know what people expect from me. I mean, I I'm taking one single joke and I'm like running it into the ground because it's funny that way. But it's real. It's not that funny. It's not that funny. Yeah. Yeah. It would be magnificent to be funny, but not. My life's goal is to be humorous, but I fail consistently every day. But it's okay. I don't need to be humorous to sell you oyster vacuum. Oyster vacuum, yeah. I'm tired, dude. I'm feeling pretty energetic today. Well, I worked all day, so it's like my jerk. No. I can't do that, sleepy. Sexuality is just not compatible. You know what is compatible? My dick in your ass. No. No. Okay. There's just like an awkward silence between us. That's that's fucking wonderful. No, we don't say that anymore. Now for another message from our sponsors. So sorry, so sorry for the interruption. Well. Hello. Okay. Um. Anyway. Uh. So, do you want to say your character literally just showed up at that moment, Zed? Where is they've he left right the now? library and they, like he's with somebody who's starting to show him around. Sure. I'll, I'll... Hmm? Yeah. Sure. Why not? Because. Like, I, I don't know what else my character would do. Although, c c can he show up with, like, bandages on, like, his head? Because I, I bonked myself. Okay. Um, you would have learned there isn't actually a nurse. Students have to treat their own Ooh. injuries. Uh, what the? But there's a bunch of, like, I medical guess. equipment in the the common rooms. That's cool and all, but like, they 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 really they they really said you don't even get health care. Treat it yourself. Here. Well, we can narrow down what country we're it. DIY DIY America. DIY health care, y'all. Uh, so let me just. America. Oh God. I'll be running your kids. Oh, Hang on. Oh, what the hell? Hold on, the art program's <laughs> being weird with me. Okay. You might hear clicking now, because I've had to switch to the digital keyboard because my keyboard's broken. Oh. So the built-in computer keyboard makes a little clicky sounds. I'm sorry, everybody. Actually, hold on. Maybe there's a thing I can do with that. Uh, sound. Sound. You'll probably hear clicking from my side too, because I'm, I'm like. There we go. I muted the on-screen keyboard. My bird go. Ooh, ooh. Oh God. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I just deleted a thing and I can't hit control Z. Oh god. How do I... Well. Okay. I fixed it. Had a little panic attack because I accidentally well. deleted all of your character stats. 
Let's just oh, no. save. It's back. Don't worry. Mistake Everything's fine. A mistake has been made. But yeah, so your character just like popped up behind them, catching them off guard. And uh, what was it you said? Izumo? Izumo? What is it? Izumo? You mentioned something about someone being squirrely, and I was like, I like squirrels. And I imagine the two of you just like jump as he's behind you. Huh? Mm -hmm. oh. Who the hell is it? Or who the hell are you? Oh, yeah. This is, uh, this is other people. To redescribe the man, he's a very like buff, like like built, you know, like classic big strong barrel chested guy with like almost like luminous orange hair that's cut short, like close to the head. You're a beefy boy. Hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, you're our other new roommate? My name yeah, is... Uh, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. You're... Uh, I'm, uh, Wait. Lex. Are you Joshua? Oh, oh no, no. Josh, what? I'm Joshua's <laughs> roommate. I wasn't in our room this morning, uh... Oh. I woke up before him. Oh, so... I see, I see. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I'm a bird, and... I... The staff explanation of this university has been... Confusing. Just try and attend class, uh, c attend classes, and you know, do good for your year one exam. You have a whole year before it, it comes along. The er, my year or er, my year two exams just got done. You're in year two. Well, year three now. Oh. No, I'll be right back. I'll have to go grab something. Um, hmm. he's gonna like take the liberty to basically show you inside the book, uh, like the little purple book you guys are given. There's a bunch of timetables saying like, uh, where you like. Every single room has a timetable showing at what time they're teaching what types of classes. Mm -hmm. And they're all marked as like year one, two, three, four, like through thirty for what it, what years need to know that information. And he's basically like, yeah, throughout the year, just attend as many year one classes as you can and retain as much of that information as you can. Hmm. Makes sense. All right. Um. So. You wouldn't happen to know what happens to people that graduate, do you? I've never seen gra anyone graduate in my time here. At least not as far as I'm aware. No ceremonies ever been held. Hmm, so that means no one here is even remotely close to graduating then, right? Oh, there are people here who, won who are in year 30. They're all... I I assume. Of course. I would assume so. I assume there's constantly people on at least, uh, I want to say at least one, but like how difficult it seems to sound. There are always people here on on their first year. The uh, With the testing cycle having just gone by, a lot of people got expelled. Although, it feels like less people got expelled this year than last year. Than last year. <laughs> Which leads me to my next question. What actually happens to people that get expelled? We don't they see them again. Were... That's it. Nothing. I can only assume the worst. Yeah. I suppose I should assume the worst too. Alright, so be an academic student. I can do that, even though I'm I think I'm a bird brain. 
Um, hmm. I don't think I'm a bird brain, said the man with a below average intelligence. Or not intelligence, intuition. Below average intuition. <laughs> B. Um, with that, he'd sort of give you a tour, you guys a tour of the school and explain more. Do you have any further questions you guys would ask him during the tour? Uh, no, not really. Okay. I don't think I have a question either. Well, I think that we're actually going to finally wrap up session one there after three hours. Just about. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Looks like we'll have to do the lore dump next time. Well, no, we got I, we got lots I of lore this time. I did. I uh, lore. I didn't. Most of oh. your day is going to be dedicated to being shown around in depth how to navigate the school and stuff. And being shown like little shortcuts. Like how you don't have to stick to the concrete paths is one thing he makes very clear. Like a lot of people do. But he's like, if you really want to save time, do just cut across the lawns. No one is ever telling you not to. The only places you really shouldn't go is off the path outside the outer walk, most walkways. Yeah. Like, because you just don't want to risk getting so far that you get in trouble. And there's also, around the bell tower, a bunch of keep off the grass signs. And he's never taken the risk of ignoring those. That, uh, that, 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 that seems like a pretty good idea. But yeah. Um, Wait a minute, I can fly. Hmm. Is this a no-fly zone? Uh, not you know, that he's I'm ever heard of. Would you try and fly a pie? Are you going to try I mean, and fly? Sure. Alright. Sure. So then actually, our closing shot is you soaring up super high in the air, like, to the point where you're like, above all of the buildings except the bell tower and you can see off over the campus beyond the walls and you just see rolling hills upon hills like leading into mountains in the distance all covered in forest in all directions no civilization no roads that you can see leading towards the campus grounds and even like the walls you can barely you barely notice like poking up above the tree lines like, it just seems like you're in the middle of nowhere. And that is our closing scene. So, yeah. What the? Dude, there isn't shit out there. Farts and pickles. But yeah. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts at the end of session one? What the H, dude? What the H? We're just gonna end like uh, that? <laughs> yeah. I, re I realize not a lot happened per se but it's you know session one establishing the world etc etc yeah uh session two will open up in the upcoming night with stuff that sleep we talked about yeah dude uh, are you still screaming by the way yes oh okay we are still live okay cool then Eden. okay but yeah uh any thoughts theories expectations going forward Bro. I'm expecting I'm to like I'm expecting at some point for my character to accidentally ask a question that 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 I, I'm expecting to be given like the you're asking too many questions actually no I'm expecting Sleepy to be, be given the you're I'm asking too many questions twice now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's happened twice that he's asked too many questions <laughs> um yeah um and any w any things you want for your characters going forward like because an important thing with my system heart of action is communication between game master and players are the things you're hoping to see your character advance in or anything you would want for your character i've got two different things on uh, my physical ability, and then I also want to learn as much as I can so that my analyze power is much more powerful. Alright, so 
uh, basically be clear on what classes you're giving special attention to, and that will likely lead to things upgrading going forward. We're not going to spend a lot of time dwelling on the school side of what's happening for obvious reasons, but, like, mm. I'm going to take that as you're going to be having your character do a lot of, like, reading and learning, as well as doing a lot of work in gym class. Yep, it mm. sounds about right. Meanwhile, on your end, Izuma? I'm... I'm probably gonna... I mean, I would love for my character to be able to do stuff with wind, so I'm probably want to learn about what kind of science covers wind uh not astrology god what's the the science of weather meteorology yeah oh, meteorology i suppose, I suppose. Oh. yeah and i also just want to make my character like more fit so that i can carry people all right so yeah you probably be training <laughs> yeah. your flight stuff a lot and with I that, <laughs> yeah, with that, we're wrapping up. I hope everybody's enjoyed listening in to the first session of Externa University. Uh, the YouTube upload of this will be going up on the uh, 3rd of June, which is also the same day that session two should be happening if everything goes well. So, I hope everybody has a wonderful night. And ta-ta. Everybody say goodbye. No. Say goodbye. goodbye or you'll get it. Goodbye. And now, for a message from our sponsors. Sleep the oyster say goodbye. Vacuum. He's gonna get the bell. The Oyster Vacuum. Brought to you by the same team that brought you... Squirrel farts. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>